Hey guys, welcome back to the second update for the Pico Tank. There's a lot to uncover today, so stay tuned. At the time editing this video on a Thursday night, I reached a massive milestone of passing 100 subscribers a month earlier than expected. First off, I would like to thank my girlfriend and my friends who support my channel, even with little knowledge of what I'm talking about. Second, I would like to thank all the reefers who stumbled upon my videos. I received nothing but encouragement from all of y'all. The reefing community is awesome and if I reach a thousand subs, basically doubled my goal at the end of the year, I'm going to do a huge giveaway to show my appreciation and that's about it. So let's get started. Alright, so my nitrates have dropped pretty quick after doing a water change in the first week. Inverts don't do well with high nitrate, so I'm excited to pick up some new cleanup crew and cool guys. As you can see, the tank is going through the ugly stage known for diatoms and your typical algae growing on the sand bed and the glass. If you're new and starting up a reef tank, this is a good sign in that things are starting to go your way. The other chaos frag is starting to bounce back in terms of size and coloration. So off to the fish store we go. Alright, so I just got back, the lights are off, but you can see the diatoms where the light typically shines inside the tank. I'm excited to introduce the crew, so I personally love conscious, so I picked up the smallest one I could find. I also have two Astria snails and an Asarius. Here they are the next day already at work. So I have the conch cleaning up the sand bed, and he's done a pretty good job so far. And one of the Astrias are on the glass, while the other one is on the other side of the glass, so I guess their plan is to divide and conquer, right? But I just love the elephant trunk on this guy. I mean, just look at him. I don't even know how he got up there. But now it's time to pick up what you guys have been waiting for. 72 hours later. I wanted to talk about this amazing pico tank they have set up. It has two storms inside along with some amazing corals, especially the holy grail micromusa here at the bottom. And I think these are the GMK Zoas, correct me if I'm wrong, but don't even get me started on this massive Colorado sunburst. I also met up with a local reefer to trade some frags. I picked up some nice softies he had for sale for the tank and I've been looking for one of these pineapple tree frags and he had just that. Here are two of the sexy shrimps I picked up. I decided not to go with three just to see how these two would do in the tank first. And in the back you can see the pom pom crab just chilling under the macroalgae. Alright in the meantime I went ahead and put the corals I picked up inside the tank. First this unknown green coral is super tiny but the mother looks pretty nice. I don't know why I zoomed in on the zoas here but here's the pineapple tree coral looking sad. And deflated right now but they're pretty hardy so i'm not too worried here's the green toadstool it looks like a bald mushroom right now last but not least i picked up this nice short polyp duncan frag second i moved over this rock flower anemone from my other tank it was in a super awkward spot so i decided to just 
put in the pico tank for my sexy shrimp to hopefully host in it. Here is an awesome close up of the pom pom crab. It has an amazing pattern and coloration, but sadly, not too long ago, he lost his pom poms. So I hope to get another crab that will share the anemone with him once I can find one in stock. Here's a close up of the sexy shrimp. I really love the pattern they have. This is the first one, and here is the second one. I don't know how to tell if they're male or female, but the second one is a little bit larger. I first added the crab into the tank. Here he is not camera shy at all, but in reality he's very cryptic and I only find him when I feed the tank with mice and shrimp. But you can see he's doing this little rocking motion with his palms which is pretty cool. I just added the two shrimp and they decided to split up. So here's the larger one under this big rock next to this very very sad looking pineapple tree. And the second one is here on the right side, not sure the camera is picking him up but he's behind that cylindrical biomedia. And I did put this rock flower here, hopefully it settles into the rock, only time will tell. Yeah, not even an hour after I put them in and one of them has already located the rock flower, which is pretty awesome. The next morning. Okay, so I bought this new red rock flower locally and man, the pain it was to get this guy on the rock. He almost got shredded by the power head and it took forever to get him to climb out. Here are some of the Rasta Zoas I picked up and you can see both the shrimp are doing pretty good. One is on the rock flower and the other one is on the sponge filter. They really love that thing. But the corals have bounced back as you can see here and the one that surprised me the most was the tiny green frag. It's really hard to get good footage on this guy but here is one of the rare shots I got on the crab as they eat together with the shrimp. They really like the sponge filter, I don't know what's on it, but they are going to town on it. Here's a cool shot I got of the larger one waving his or her butt around, uh, hence the name, but I even tried taking a picture of them on the rock flower, but it didn't turn out too well. On a side note for fun, I decided to glue a random Zoa head to the snail, so maybe he'll become decorated. Here's a funny shot I got on the other guy as he was getting some good air, I guess. Here's a picture I took. It didn't turn out too well, but I'm about to turn it into life. After a few days, one of them found the rock flower on the front, which is where I want them to be because it's out in the open where you can see in front of the tank. But yeah, that's all that's going on in this episode. I'm picking up a few more frags of stuff you guys will probably see in a future video. I'm not liking how this is turning into another tank that eats my money, but jokes aside, I won't be adding much after the next video. Once again, thank you guys if you made it this far, only about 35% of you guys do. I hope you guys are doing well during this time, make sure you stay warm. Please let me know in the comment section what is your favorite invert, and I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.